Hey guys, this is Connor with Conquest HP. I'm shooting this video to ask you to consider the conversation that you're having with your body on a daily basis. Um, this is a concept, or principle rather, that I've found to be extremely productive in both the clinic and the gym. And I think it's one of the primary reasons that people can suffer from either a lack of progress with their fitness efforts or their diet efforts, um, or even get themselves into a position where they're feeling a lot of pain on a daily basis. So the idea basically uh, kind of grew out of an osteopathic idea that I was taught, which is that you should work with the body, not try to force the body to do anything. That's one of the central ideas behind osteopathy. Um, when we extrapolate that, think about the messages that you're sending to your body all the time. If you are stretching out a muscle or a joint that's sore and you want it to be less sore or mo more mobile, hoping that it being more mobile will make it less sore, consider how the body is going to interpret that stretch. Okay, so if my shoulder is in pain, <clears throat> and it's in pain just in my resting posture position here, and it hurts a lot more for me to pull it across my body, but I get, th I get through it, I really grind my teeth, and I'm just going to try to stretch out this pain. And then I push myself a little bit further, and then a little bit further, and every time I push that stretch a little bit further, there's a little more pain. I can stretch through the pain. Afterwards, you're going to feel great, probably, because you get what's called the stretch reflex. When you get the stretch reflex, it immediately calms down um, your sensitivity to pain in the area you just stretched. But afterwards, it's going to be way worse, and it's probably going to delay your recovery. Because your message to your body was not, I need this range of motion, which is what you think you're saying. What it actually was is, it hurts here. I'm already in pain. I don't care if you're in pain. I'm not paying attention to these pain signals. I'm still not listening to what my body is trying to tell me. So your body is just going to amplify that signal. There's something wrong with that joint or there's something wrong with your perception of that joint. So if you try to push it into a position it doesn't want to go, uh, the feedback that you're going to get from it is going to be very negative. Okay, so you can't force it to do something it doesn't want to do. And if you try, that signal is going to get louder and louder. And if that signal is pain, the pain is going to get worse and worse. And the stiffness is going to get worse and worse. So you got to learn to work with your body, not against it. Think about how your body is interpreting what you're sending its way. And this is true even if you're not in pain. If you just want to increase mobility, and you're trying to get yourself deeper and deeper into a stretch, and you just think, I'm just going to stretch as hard as I can, and we'll see what happens. I'll cry a little bit, and eventually I'll be more mobile. Well, that's okay, but it's not going to work most of the time. Because again, you are taking your threshold, and then you're trying to expand your threshold by directly butting your head against it. And your body's going to interpret that as a threat. That's just the way it sees it. It's, your body is built for survival. It's very well built for that purpose. It's not going to change anytime soon. So if you threaten that survival by threatening some damage, by, ex by going beyond a threshold that you already have, it's going to fight back. And a lot of the time, you're not going to get more mobile. So if you want more mobility, you want flexibility, you want to calm down tissues, think about how your body is interpreting the signals that you're sending. Because you probably think you're saying one thing, and your body is interpreting it a different way. And you've got to look at your results, the results of your, your stretching or your exercise or whatever it may be, your therapy, and see if it's actually working for you. If you're getting the results you want, then don't listen to anything I'm saying. But if you're not getting the results you want, think about that conversation a little bit deeper. Think about what you're saying. Think about how your body is interpreting what you're doing. Because much of the time, what you think you're doing to help your body and what you're cringing through is causing harm and your body's going to fight back. So for more on this, uh, check out our other YouTube videos on therapy and fitness. Check out conquesthp.com and uh, like and subscribe if you want more videos like this. Talk soon.